I believe it's about time we start thinking about what business value AI is providing. We have to cut out all of this fluff and hype. And that is where AI agents come into play. Whenever I see a new agentic platform, my first question is how exactly that platform is adding business value. That is where this agent platform seems quite promising. In this video, I am going to install it and then we will check out it with a real world use case. I have been covering this agent tool for quite some time as it is based on an open source project camel which we also cover a lot on the channel. So the project is evolving quite a lot. Now I am going to check out what exactly are the new features in the platform and how exactly we can use it to derive real world business value. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel as that helps a lot. Now before we do the installation, let's have a very quick overview of what exactly is iGent. It is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application designed to transform complex workflows into automated, collaborative AI-driven processes. This is built on the foundation of Camel AI's acclaimed open source framework which we already have covered on the channel. It iGent introduces a team of autonomous AI agents called workers, each specialized for distinct roles such as researcher, programmer or writer. These workers operate individually or in concert as a workforce, a coordinated team that breaks down high level tasks into subtasks, assigns them to the most suitable agent and execute them in parallel. The system is powered by a hierarchical architecture featuring a task planner that decomposes missions and a coordinator that manages agent assignments, ensuring efficient, resilient and scalable task completion. So how to use it? I think the best way of using iGent is to download their application, the desktop one. You just go to iGent.ai and I will drop the link in video's description. Just click on the download button at the uh, top right or you can just simply download it from the middle of the web page. You can get it for Mac and Windows. I don't think so it is available on Linux yet but might be in the future. So I'm just going to click on download from my Windows system and then first i would need to log in with google so let me or your email address of course so let me quickly do that and the easiest way is to just go through their uh, cloud one you can also install it with local models and i will do another video on top of it i already have covered it a bit in this video by the way with the local model but for now let's try out with the uh, cloud one so i'm just going to go with free plan very generous tier by the way okay let's download it it is being downloaded it's very lightweight and after the download it is just a matter of clicking next next and click on install and then just click on finish and it is going to launch the agent here there you go agent is launching and then just uh, log in with your email address to connect to the cloud version after you log in, you can even enable permission if you are uh, use, intend to use your local screen recording or access local software for your agentic software and then just toggle the box on and maybe also share data with agent if you like, of course, your choice. And then you will see the main screen of the agent and let me make it a bit bigger here. Unfortunately, I don't see any dark mode here. so. The first step I would suggest you to do is to just go to settings and you see that only light mode is available. From there you can select different models like you can go with GPT-4 and lot of other stuff. You can either use their cloud version or you could provide your own API keys for a lot of models including the local ones. If you want you can select a lot of um, model context protocol which allows you to access uh, to external APIs or you could define a lot of tools. You see there are a lot of uh, MCP servers which you can just get out of the box and you can even install your own. You can also go with Google search. So let's click on install here and you can see that you can put your own Google's API key and that would allow you to have a Google search. So if you want to add your own, just click on this add MCP server 
and this is where you can add your own mcp server and there are heaps of available uh, are available i already have covered them in lot of videos so if you're interested just go to my channel search with mcp servers and there are a lot of free servers available by the way this format which you see it is mainly um, a de facto standard from cursor and it's just you give mcp servers and then it, it's a, a list of dictionaries where you can or dictionary of dictionaries where you can put in multiple mcp servers just in the json format okay so that's pretty much it and then you just click on general or you just go back to chat from here you can have different projects which you can select now if you look here this is a very simple interface now you don't have to be a coder or programmer to do anything all you need to do is to just give it a natural language prompt which would enable you to accomplish a task with this your workforce if you're if you already know your task like if you want to do coding from a developer agent or search agent so for example if i click on developer agent it should load the developer agent for me and then it goes on and on with multi-modal document agent and the list goes on anyway so let me ask it a real world question here as what i want to achieve today so what i'm going to do i'm just asking this task from agent that to create me a comprehensive 10 slide powerpoint presentation on top of five global trends in renewable energy now it includes a lot of things but the main idea is to generate this renewable energy trend powerpoint because i haven't enabled any web search or that sort of stuff but i just want to showcase that a lot of things are possible if you just keep adding tools and mcp servers and that is what makes it extensible and you can see that as soon as i have given it the prompt it has split it that task into multiple ones and it is using multiple workers in order to uh, make different uh, product and then it is going to provide you a holistic synergized end result now this is a task which it has divided you can just click on start task and it has started processing it and of course you can edit the task you can delete it you can move around lot of stuff are there so there you go you see now it is using the search agent here and then um, it doesn't need any developer so very intelligently it has selected its own relevant agent pretty good and if you go through these sub tasks they also look quite good and all this orchestration happens behind the scene you don't have to worry about it anyway i will let it finish and then i will show you the result so you see that the search engine has finished done in, doing its part and now document agent is creating the file for us the powerpoint one there you go it has even divided it into multiple slides and by the way you can also pause it and you can see it is also showing you the token it is consuming and there you go it has finished generating the powerpoint on the left hand side as you can see either you can open it from here you can also check it out on the disk so this is a pptx file it has generated plus it has generated even the markdown file which you can use anywhere if you like let me show you what it looks like on the disk so this is a file and looks pretty good to me so a lot of tables are there and it has created all the slides so you see pretty uh, decent tool i would say check it out let me know what do you think about it Please like the video and subscribe to the channel as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.